What's going on YouTube? It's Zero Exploit. Today I'm doing Linux Preves from TryHackMe. This box is marked medium. So this box is new on TryHackMe and I thought it would be a great video to make, especially for those who are beginners in ethical hacking and penetration testing. I've used these techniques and methods before on pen tests, CTF challenges, rather if it's hack the box or try hack me. But if you are new and don't know what Linux privilege escalation is, and I'll explain a little bit about it. Linux privilege escalation is basically the process of elevating your permissions by switching from one user to another user and gaining more privileges. For example, a normal user on Linux can become root or get the same permissions as root, and this is usually done by using the su or sudo command. Now, another example how a privilege escalation is done, so say an attacker who wants to obtain such privileges would often use either exploits. Now, an exploit is a piece of code with the goal to release a particular payload. The payload focuses on weaknesses in the operating system or running software. Now, this may result in the software crashing or giving access to unexpected areas of the memory. By overriding segments of memory and executing special crafted shell code, one may gain a successful privilege escalation by doing this. So, this video is going to be a 21 part series video due to the fact there is a lot of different methods and techniques that this room covers. So I will be walking you through each task and demonstrate different Linux privilege escalations that's in this room. But before we get started, make sure you guys visit tryhackme.com and sign up. Also get the subscription, which is 10 bucks a month. That will give you the VIP access. Also too, if this video gets a thousand likes, I'll give away a three month subscription for Try Hack Me. Now to qualify for this giveaway, you must be a subscriber and comment hashtag Try Hack Me in this video. So hackers, start up your laptops and let's get the hacking. So on this first episode of Try Hack Me, Linux Prevesk, I'll demonstrate escalating our privileges by taking advantage of a user-defined function known as UDF to run system commands as root via the MySQL service. First thing we'll do is we'll log into the machine using SSH and we'll be using username as user and password as password 321. Now, <clears throat> I want you guys to understand this room is built strictly for learning and practicing privilege escalating as if you already compromised the system. Now the virtual machine has all the tools you need in order to do this already installed. So you don't need to download any tools on the virtual machine. These tools will be stored in the home user tools directory. Now, just to give you guys a fair warning, this virtual machine is really slow. So be patient when typing and don't get so frustrated because I'll even show you how slow it is. Okay, we're going to start on task two. We'll read through. And if you haven't done this room yet, then at least at the end of watching this video, you already have a good idea of what needs to be done, and you already have some knowledge. Okay, so the first task right here that we would want to do is deploy the machine, grab the IP, okay, and you want to export the IP. Okay, so we'll go ahead and type in export. Now, the reason why we want to do this is so that we don't have to enter in the IP in every time. All we have to do is use a dollar sign uppercase IP instead of entering the IP address. So I'll, I'll give you I'll show you guys an example right now. <clears throat> okay, so export IP 
make sure you uppercase it and then equals the, your, the IP address, okay? And then we'll do SSH user, okay? And then at, and then dollar sign IP. And we don't have to enter the IP because we exported it and it will go through. And remember the password is password three, two, one. Okay, another thing too, please read through task one before you start because it gives you a brief description on privilege escalation and then it gives you some links that you can click on, even a Udemy course on um, Linux privilege escalation for OSCP and beyond. Now I've actually paid for this course and um, used this course as a, you know, a study path for my OSCP certificate. And it, it had a lot of good stuff on it. And um, don't believe it or not, I've actually learned quite a few things on it. So I, I think it's uh, on Udemy for like 29 bucks or something like that. So it's kind of, it's, you know, for the price, it's worth it to me. Right, and let's go ahead and come back here and we'll enter password three, two, one. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need to do is, like I said earlier, is that we're, we're going to be using MySQL service. All right, the thing that's wrong with this one is that the MySQL service is running as root, but the password is not defined or, or, or assigned. It, it's not assigned a password. So basically the MySQL service is running as root and the root user for the service does not have a password assigned to it. And that's where the vulnerability is on this one. It's a simple fact that you can actually go inside my, you know, sign in to MySQL as root without having to enter a password. And when you sign in as root and not have to enter a password, you, you can use, you know, a popular exploit to take advantage of user defined functions to run system commands as roots by using the MySQL service. And there's the exploit on here is called Raptor. Okay. And it's going to be located on this box and the, like, look at that. I'm going to show you guys. I just want to show you. I'm typing really fast right now. Look how slow it is. There should be a lot more there. Yeah. So please be patient with this video. I know this right here can get really annoying, okay? And understand, I have n no control over this, all right? So it's not me. You can blame try hack me for it, for making this box a free box. Because if it was a paid box, like, you know, because try hack me has a VIP subscription where all the boxes, uh, you know, deployed faster and run faster or better. But, but the free boxes, they run really slow. So, but I wanted, I really wanted to make a video on this for you guys because privilege, privilege escalation and enumeration are two big things in ethical hacking and penetration testing, okay? And they are two very important things to learn, okay? So I, I just want to make sure that you guys learn these things, especially if you are new. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and start. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go to the home user tools and the MySQL. All right. If we hit LS, oops, I really hate this. All right, there we go. Hit LS, we have um, a couple files here. 
This one right here should not be here. It actually should be deleted. All right. Come on. So we'll go ahead and delete that because we got to remake a, a new one. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is understand that this program is a, is a, yeah, is a C program. It's written in C. All right. And we need to use a C compiler to compile this program. So we're going to use a program called GCC. All right. So we'll enter GCC, text C. No, check G. Come on. All right, tech G, tech C, then Raptor. All right, C, and then tech F, and then uppercase P I C. Go ahead and hit enter. All right, let's go LS. Okay. Then we're going to do GCC, tag G, and then tag shared, space, tag, uppercase W, then L, comma, tag, SO name, and then Raptor, underscore, UDF2, dot SO, tag, O, all right, and then Raptor. Okay, Raptor UDF2 dot SO, and then again, Raptor underscore UDF2 dot O, and then LC. All right, and that should be that right there. Now, let's see if it made that file for us. Yes, we got it right here. Okay, awesome. All right, now we need to go ahead and log into my SQL. Oops, one clear. It's going to be my SQL. Tag you root. Okay, perfect. Now we need to create, we need, we need to be able to execute these commands. I, I need you guys to execute these commands on the MySQL shell. What we need to do is create a user defined function uh, called do system and then using our compiled by, you know, using our compiled exploits. And then we need to use the function to copy bin bash to TMP root bash to the Pretty much, we pretty much need to copy the function bin bash, all right, and then send it over, copy it over to the temp directory and rename it root bash and set the SUID permissions, all right. So let's go ahead and create a user defined function. What we're going to do is type in my, not my, all right, use. My SQL. Okay. Go ahead and hit enter. All right. And then we want to create table. All right. Foo. Okay. Line blob. All right. Hit enter. All right, and then we want to insert into full values. So we insert, all right, insert into full values, okay? And then we're gonna load the file of our exploit into the, 
from yeah from the home user tools MySQL. So we're going to insert into full values load file. Okay, and then from the home user tools MySQL UDF and then Raptor underscore UDF to dot SO. Okay. And then yep. And that should be that right there for that one. Perfect. Now we want to select everything from foo all right and put it into a dump file okay and inside the user lib mysql plugin Raptor, oops. Rap. All right, yeah. Raptor underscore UDF two dot SO. Right. And then we have to create a function do system. All right, so this create function do underscore system and then have it return returns integer so name all right and then raptor underscore utf2 dot so should work all right now that we've done that now what we need to do is use the function to copy bin bash over to the temp directory and rename it root bash and then set the suid permissions so and we'll be able to do that by typing in select do underscore system okay this is where we run the command all right, then we're going to CP bin bash. Actually, I don't know why I didn't enter that. Come on. All right, CP bin bash. And then Pop it over in the temp directory and call it root bash. And then schmod sx, actually xs tmp root bash star, not star. All right, so let's go over this real quick. So we select do system to copy bin bash and then copy it over to the TMP root bash. All right. And then, then set the permissions to XS into the temp root bash. All right. And that looks good. Once you've completed this, okay, and you've done, all you got to do is exit now, okay? All, and then all we have to do is forge slash TMP root bash tech P, and you will have root. As you can see, 
We'll go ahead and clear this. We are root now. So this is one way of escalating our privileges to root. Okay. Now, I want to show you guys something else, though, before we end this video, and it's a cool trick. So we don't know root's password at all. Okay. But since we escalated our privileges and we are now roots, we can actually set our own password for root. Now, for some reason, usually, you know, in order to change your password, you got to know root's password in order to change root's password. Because if we type in pass WD to change root's password, we have to enter a password in order to do it. Okay. And we don't know root's password. Well, there's a way to bypass this by taking advantage of a weak file permission. Okay. And the way we can do this is we can create our own hash. So for example, okay. For example, let's th think of it like this. If we were to type in ls tech l and then etc pass wd okay we can see that right here we have read write permission okay as root that means that we could change anything in this right because because we are root we could change it so what we can do is since we don't know root's password we can create our own password into a hash format and the way we would do that is open ssl come on all right and then type in pass wd all right and then give it a new password so the password i'm gonna type in will be um uh we'll just try hack me no, 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 that's too simple and easy. Let's do, uh, how about we do, oh, shoot. Let's do, uh, get rooted. All right. There we go. Get rooted. And then hit enter. Okay, then all you got to do is copy this right here, all right? Copy that whole entire thing. And then we want to run Vim or any other editor that you like using. Vim, and then the Etsy pass WT. Now, before we do this, I want to show you guys, all right? I want to show proof that this does not, that I don't know the password, all right? So... All right, so we'll do sue, all right, all right, I'm going to say get rooted. I'm going to copy this, all right, and then I'm going to paste it, hit enter. It's not going to work. You'll see that authentication failed, all right? That's proof right there that it does not work. All right, so now what we're going to do is them. All right, let's see, pass, WD, all right, and then go to the root, and where that X is at, okay, all you got to do is get rid of that little X right there, and then paste that little hash that we got. Oh, shoot. Actually, my bad. I forgot that I did that get root thing. Okay, we'll put the X back. All right. Okay, where's that pass? Where's the hash? All right, here it is. Don't worry, I didn't change anything on that thing. I just quit without saving it. All right. Okay, here we go. All right. So is it one, two, three, four, five? Exit, not exit, but delete, then paste. 
All right, and then we're gonna save that. All right, so let's go ahead and um, cat the Etsy pass WD, just to double check, make sure it's on there. Okay, yeah, so it's on there correctly. Now watch, we'll do this now, seal. Okay, actually, I got a better idea. I'm going to exit out of root. So we're not root anymore, right? We're now the regular low privilege user, okay? And then we're just gonna sue, all right? And then we're gonna do get rooted. Hold on a second. I think I must have mis misspelled something. All right, get rooted. There we go. Yeah, I knew I misspelled something, but we're root. So that's another way of escalating your privileges to make sure, you know, you know, if you don't know the password root, if there is a um, vulnerability for a, uh, if you happen to find a weak file permissions vulnerability in the system, as soon as you're able to escalate your privileges as root, you can change things around with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry about the virtual machine being slow, but just remembered, like I said, if this video gets a thousand likes, okay, I will be doing a um, Try Hack Me three month subscription giveaway. But remember, you must be a subscriber and you have to comment hashtag try hack me in this video. So I hope you guys have a great day and get ready for the next video. The next video that I'm going to be posting soon, it's going to be on weak file permissions and then weak. Um, yeah, weak file permissions. There's going to be three tasks on that. Um, the first one is going to be task three. It's going to be weak file permissions, uh, readable Etsy shadow, and then weak file permissions for writable Etsy shadow, and then writable Etsy password. Basically, the Etsy password is the one that I just showed you guys right now. And then we'll be doing some shell escape sequence, environment variables, file permissions, path environment variables, We'll be doing some wildcards, SUID and SGID executables, some cron jobs, abusing shell futures, um, history files, config files, SSH keys, NFS, even kernel exploits and privileged escalation scripts. We will be doing so. I hope you guys enjoy this video and take care.